Hey y'all, Dixie here. Today I want to talk to you about the BRS stove, and this is the stove that I use during my through hike on the Continental Divide Trail. For those of y'all who followed my AT or PCT through hikes, you might remember that I used the MSR Pocket Rocket stove, which was a great stove. It weighs three ounces, or on my scale, 86 grams. Uh, the BRS, which is made out of a titanium alloy, weighs 26 grams, and it's just under an ounce. So to only save two ounces, I know it's like, why bother? But with all of the camera equipment that I'm carrying, and I mean with anything, when you have something on your back for over six months, Ounces really do add up to pounds, so I'm willing to shave weight wherever I can, as long as I still have good equipment that functions properly. They no longer have this version of the Pocket Rocket. Um, I think they have like a newer, kind of more compact version, but uh, the Pocket Rocket generally runs for about $40, where the BRS stove is anywhere from like 15 to 20. So I'd heard a lot of things about the BRS, really kind of varying opinions. Some people said in reviews on Amazon that it was a great stove, but others I saw had issues with the arm on the BRS bending or one even like blew up or something. Um, so I don't know if they just got duds or what. I did not have those experiences with the stove and um, I was kind of excited to see if I would, not that I, I wanted my stove to blow up, but just because when you see something that kind of has um, reviews on all ends of the spectrum, um, I don't know. I just wanted to try it for myself and let y'all know what I thought. So I'll definitely say that when you fold it up and store it, it is more compact than the pocket rocket that I used before. I did like that a lot about it. I would just fold it up, wrap it in a bandana and store it with a small fuel can inside my food pot and it just all went together very nicely. So it's lightweight and compact, but it's not like an unsturdy stove. I do think that it is still built pretty well. I mean, obviously not as probably durable or stable as the MSR Pocket Rocket, but it's not something I think is just gonna tear up easily. In fact, I have to give it some major credit because I accidentally threw my bandana in the wash one time when I was in town for a zero day and it still works. So it made it through the entire wash cycle. And I noticed as I was putting my clothes in the dryer, um, it was a little bit worried, but I didn't notice any different in functionality. It still worked just fine. So I do have to give credit to the BRS for that. Now, as far as any negatives that I noticed about the stove, it does have a smaller wingspan than the stove I used previously. So it's not gonna be as stable of a setup. And I would say I probably had three to five spills um, just because, you know, it was a little more tipsy, <laughs> tipsy. Um, but anyway, a little bit more um, unstable than the Pocket Rocket setup. And I probably had like one spill on the AT and the PCT with the Pocket Rocket. So uh, you do have to be a little bit more careful when you're, you know, moving your food pot or stirring your food, um, but it's still not an unstable or what I would call like an unsafe setup. Also, I noticed that when my brother came out and he had a new nice shiny uh, grease pot, that's the kind of food pot that I use, um, it was real slick on the bottom, so it would easily kind of slide off of the BRS stove, whereas on the Pocket Rocket, uh, the new pot didn't, you know, it wasn't as slick like. So I would say that if you're going to use the BRS stove, you might want to make sure that you've got a well seasoned uh, food pot like I do, or else get something that has like some little ridges on the bottom, you know, just to give it that extra friction. And then finally, I will say that the BRS I noticed had kind of a mind of its own at times. It could be a little bit temperamental. So when I went to cut it down, sometimes it would kind of shoot higher flames uh, just for a second, you know, as I was cutting it off. Uh, it wasn't like a flamethrower or anything crazy like that, but it was something that I did notice and I felt that I should share. One concern that I've heard people mention with the BRS is that it might not be as efficient as the Pocket Rocket or other stoves. So I decided to do like a, a rough experiment today and just kind of see how it would go. So I boiled one cup of water in my food pot using the BRS stove and then boiled another cup of water in the same pot using the MSR Pocket Rocket. I had two separate fuel cans that both weighed 209 grams. So the boil time for using the BRS stove was one minute and 24 seconds. 
the boil time for one cup of water using the pocket rocket was right at two minutes. So after boiling the water, I weighed the fuel cans again and the pocket rocket used four grams of fuel where the BRS used six grams of fuel. So as suspected, the BRS stove was not as efficient. Uh, it was faster though. So you would have a faster prep time with your food and on a through hike that kind of is pretty important if you like to cook breakfast and dinner even sometimes lunch like I do um, you know having that little bit of faster prep time is nice but it is less efficient so you're gonna be buying fuel more often now for myself saving a little bit of weight and having a ladder stove and also knowing that it's a cooker fast time it's worth not having as high of an efficiency for myself now you know everyone's different so if fuel consumption is something that you know you want to put as a priority then you might like the pocket rocket better especially if you like the stability of it and also knowing that most of the time when people get a pocket rocket they um, know what they're getting and it does function properly for myself going forward i'm going to keep using the brs i really did like saving weight again i liked how compact it was knowing that i could wash it i'm not saying that you should ever wash your stove but if it happens uh, knowing that it's going to be reliable and um, just overall, I do think that it is a good product. I do think that the MSR Pocket Rocket is also a good stove and will be reliable. So honestly, you can't go wrong with either one unless you get one of the BRS duds. But again, it seems like most of the people who have reviewed the stove on Amazon do seem happy with it. Anyway, that was my experience with the BRS after using it six months. If any of y'all have had good experiences, bad experiences, I would love to hear those in the comments below. Or if you've used a stove that I did not mention today that you absolutely love, please feel free to share that too because everyone here can learn from one another. You know, I heard about the BRS somewhere and uh, decided to try that because I'm sure of a comment or, you know, folks talking about it. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. And just remember that if you like the work I do here and you want to support this channel and you shop on Amazon, you can support this channel at no additional cost to you by going to DixieAZ.com before you do your shopping on Amazon. If you just click the button that says, you know, shop on Amazon, um, it'll take you to Amazon and you will do your shopping as usual and at no additional cost you'll be supporting the channel. So thank y'all so much and we will see y'all next time.